The ongoing saga involving Pastor Ezekiel Odero has taken an intriguing twist, raising questions about alleged bribery attempts and questionable motives of a Senate committee investigating the pastor's wealth and connections to the infamous Shakahola saga involving Pastor Paul Mackenzie. Controversies now surround the financing of the fact-finding mission led by Downson Mungatana which consisted of 11 team members who descended upon the New Life Church in Kilifi County on Monday, October 16, 2023. Reports suggest that this Senate team might have had ulterior motives as they seemingly neglected to conduct a genuine investigation into Pastor Ezekiel, evident in the fact that they left their secretariat behind a crucial component usually accompanying committees on official visits. But how true is this that Pastor Ezekiel Odero sponsored this strip? Let's find out. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. For clarification, a properly constituted parliamentary committee includes the chair, vice chair, members and the secretariat which comprises clerks legal officers, researchers, Hansard reporters, a sergeant at arms, and a media relations officer. The absence of this secretariat during the New Life Church visit has raised suspicions that the committee's presence was incomplete and maybe they had been influenced by an undisclosed arrangement with Pastor Ezekiel Odero to clear his name from the ongoing controversy. <laughs> Now, this visit to the New Life Church comes shortly after Pastor Ezekiel Odero summoned by the Senate to address questions about his wealth and his role in the Shakahola massacre. During his appearance before the Parliamentary Committee on October 13, 2023, Pastor Ezekiel Odero vehemently denied any involvement in the allegations against him. He even extended an invitation to sponsor an exclusive tour of his church and premises, where rumors had suggested that the existence of a secret mortuary and mass grave site within the church compound. Now, Lisa Washirika, why don't you go and present yourself? Kama kuna kitu mumeona ni mefanya, hata kama ni mikuhonga. Go tell the government, Ezekiel alifanya hii, Na alinionga. And I told the DCI when they came, Ikiwa mutapata kitu, don't wait until you take me to court. Expose it as you have exposed those who are dying in Shakaola. I will pay for you to come and see what we do. I pray from the bottom of my heart that the chair of the committee convinces the members to come. Odero told the committee last week. However, it has now come to light that the committee, which has been in session for more than four months, has exhausted its budget. They have been compelled to compile the report from the Kenyatta International Convention Center KICC, in Nairobi after the Senate Liaison Committee, chaired by Deputy Speaker Kathure Murungi, declined to allocate additional funds. To secure funding for a committee, a memo must be raised, gaining the Speaker's approval after agreement from the Speaker, Deputy and Clerk. The memo then proceeds to the Clerk for final approval. Sources suggest that the committee was informed that arranging a visit to Pastor Ezekiel Odero's church would require a minimum of four days or rather four working days. The time was not there. And then the other thing is that the committee has no funds. When we sought an extension, they only gave us 2 million Kenyan shillings. An inside source said. 
On the other side, the fact-finding committee accused unnamed senior officials in President William Ruto's government of frustrating their work after controversial preacher Paul McKenzie and chief government pathologist Dr. Johansen Oduor yesterday refused to appear before the Senate. We are not going to spare anyone. Why is it that we are allocating so much money to some programs that are completely irrelevant and we are, we are denying very crucial, very crucial departments such as these the necessary capacities to enable them to be efficient? You know, and, I, I, and we are saying as Kenyans that if we had capacitated the DCI forensic lab as to the level they require, if some people who started this, this DCI forensic labs many years ago had not stolen the monies that were supposed to be utilized, we've had, we would have been having a first-class forensic lab and we would not have taken uh, from, from April up to now, waiting for, for results of bodies, waiting for DNA. It would not be the case. In defense of his client, lawyer Cliff Ombeta vehemently denied any financial involvement on Pastor Ezekiel's part in sponsoring the Senate's visit to his church, despite his earlier offer during the interrogation. <laughs> Pastor Ezekiel Odero's lead lawyer, Dunstan Omari, on the other side, refutes claimed that the preacher had bankrolled the senator's trip, asserting that they utilized parliamentary resources for their visit. Ukiangalia Ville, the inside source has suggested that the committee only received 2 million Kenyan shillings, then that would, could mean that probably they used that amount of money to visit Pastor Ezekiel Odero, if that is true that they were not sponsored by the pastor. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye-bye.